Three Corners is just your average small town. Standing on the banks of a flood-prone river with a large pub anchoring the village at a once famous three-way intersection. Now it's simply convenient. As people chase the country dream, the country lifestyle, just not the unceasing agricultural workload. Population, 2,000. Ish. But like all small towns, scratch the surface and you'll be surprised at what you find underneath. In that sense, Three Corners is really no different to any other small town I know. Except perhaps for some of the characters you might meet. Doubting Tartan. The little tartan shopping trolley was brand new. It had been brand new for four years. Sitting in the corner, collecting dust and digitus while adjusting to its new role. It was a coat rack, an umbrella stand, a plastic bag receptacle, a home for Daddy Longlegs. The cat had once tried to climb it, but it toppled with such ease it sent the cat hissing and racing through to the other room. The shopping trolley had only known this room, where it was unwrapped, placed and not forgotten. Every time she went out, she saw it. Felt the tartan, a bright combination of blue and orange, ridiculing her as she went on her weekly trek to the shops. Coming home after paying too much money to that horrid taxi man who always misunderstood where she wanted to go. He thought it was a great game and she hated him for it. She never knew he turned the metre off after two minutes, taking her for a scenic trip around the outskirts of town before subtly putting it back on again just 100 metres from her door. It was this last trip that pushed her over the edge. Flinging the door open and hobbling in with the bags of groceries to see out the week, cutting marks into her wrists that took hours to fade. Lately, she hadn't wanted to go out at all. Irrational. Along with the irrational hatred of grocery shopping. Someone had whispered a reprieve with home delivery service on the internet at the library. But that grocery store had the bloody hide to ask her age before it would let her shop. Her age. Just for the privilege of wandering down make-believe aisles indeed one last hit to her pride. She sat on the old horsehair settee for hours, looking at that shopping trolley, the mockery of its colours so lurid in her world of beige and gold. Tasteful, classic. Muttering, she finally hauled herself out of the depths of the chair and stamped off to her bedroom. Surveying her row of scarves, she picked a royal blue one, with gold and beige and cream as well. At least then they'd match in their silliness, she thought, tying it around her neck, the bow to the side as she once wore when she was young. Foolishness. Head held high, she swung the coat off the shopping trolley, removed the rubber bands, flinging them across the room and locking the door she twisted the ridiculous thing behind her and started off down the street. She was amazed. It was so light. She marvelled. It handled better than a car, or indeed her late husband. What's more, it was a veritable TARDIS. You could fit so much in. She laughed as she marched back up the street, waving at the taxi driver who had gotten out to get the passenger door for her. Not today, she shouted and trooped straight on past until she got to the bakery. With the money she saved, she could buy a treat. The day looked bright. She felt light and she swiveled the scarf back to its jaunty angle and then sauntered on up the street and home. The little trolley had made its debut in a grand style. And for every week that followed, it was the perfect accompaniment. 
Today's episode of Three Corners was produced by our maestro. Posty. And featured the spotlight tones of... Ella James. And me, Jack. For more stories, go to hittheroadjack.com.au or subscribe to the Three Corners podcast.